Imagine we have a triangle with sides of length A, B, and C, and the angles across from the sides are labeled capital A, capital B, and capital C, respectively. Drop an altitude from the vertex where angle A is to the side of length A and label it H. This altitude cuts the triangle into two right triangles. From the first one, we see that the sine of angle B equals H divided by C, as H is the opposite side and C is the hypotenuse. From the other right triangle, we see that the sine of C is equal to H divided by B, as H is the opposite side and B is the hypotenuse of this triangle. As H is part of both of these equations, we can see that H equals B times sine of C and H equals C times sine of B. From this we see that B times the sine of angle C equals C times the sine of angle B. Dividing both quantities by B times C, we see that sine of angle C divided by C is equal to the sine of angle B divided by B. Now we can do a similar thing for the angles A and B, but this time we have to be a little more careful. This time when we try to drop an altitude from the vertex at angle C, we see that we get a new triangle created outside the original like this. We can label this altitude by H, and note that the newly created outside triangle has an angle of measure 180 degrees minus A, the supplementary angle to A. From this newly created right triangle here, we see that the sine of angle B must be the opposite side length H divided by the hypotenuse A. On the other hand, from this small right triangle created here, we see that the sine of 180 degrees minus A must equal the opposite side H divided by the hypotenuse B. Once again, both of these equalities involve the quantity H, so we see that H is equal to B times the sine of 180 minus A, and H equals A times the sine of angle B. We can divide both of these quantities by A times B, so that sine of 180 degrees minus A over A is equal to sine of angle B divided by little b. But now we use the fact that sine of 180 degrees minus A is equal to the sine of angle A. This means that the sine of angle A divided by side length A is equal to the sine of angle B divided by the side length little b. When we couple this result with our first computation, we see that the sine of angle A divided by A equals the sine of angle B divided by B, and that equals the sine of angle C divided by C, where A, B, and C are the side lengths of a triangle with opposite angles capital A, capital B, capital C respectively. This is known as the law of signs for triangles.